Okay, start off with uh, fitting uh, X brake uh, to my uh, Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, these are the parts that arrived in the uh, post. Um, there's the uh, fitting uh, destructions, so uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, got the jack on there, we've got an axle stand, got one wheel off the floor, I don't know if you can see that, um, a bit of light, and we'll uh, see how we go. Right, that's the uh, drum break off, uh, it was a bit of a bugger to get off. Uh, mainly because the expansion bolt here, where it expands the shoes, was seized at the back. So getting that off of that was jiggle, 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 and it took me about a good half hour to get it off. Um, but the bolts that hold the uh, drum. Uh, they were only uh, 15 mil bolt and they were quite loose and which was surprising because I was expected to get the breaker bar out um, so they will be going on a little bit tighter than they did kick as they were coming off um, I can show you underneath the car oh I've got to land it <laughs> if I can Let's get a bit of light on the old subject. So, there's the old prop shaft. In fact, let's get some more light on the subject just to put this on. Yeah, right, a bit more light on the old subject. There's a the prop shaft that came off quite easily. Uh, the bolts that hold the prop shaft, they're on the uh, 40 mm uh, up and then spanner which I took them off and they came off quite easily because uh, they only put, replaced the pop shaft about a thousand miles ago so uh, that was quite uh, quite easy to take off um, get some old uh, light in the subject going up here uh, everything else is there is quite uh, okay uh, I was expecting a little bit of leakage from uh, the uh, center bolt but uh, it's quite dry actually so I don't have to replace that um, the only issue I've got now is trying to get the uh, cable uh, up there uh, and that's uh, my next job to do so um, see how we go Okay, that's the backing plate on. Uh, this is still loose as it's got to be loose. I've still got to put the caliper on. Uh, it's nylon, nylock at the back. There's another one that goes here. Uh, the uh, retaining bolts, which the original bolts uh, I've now put back on and uh, I've made sure this time that they are tight. So, it's a uh, all tight now I've just got ready to uh, put the caliper on uh, I'll uh, loose fit it first just to make sure everything's up uh, before everything gets all tightened down for good all right well that's the caliper on oh. well it's not on on it's more of a loose fit so I can get the disc in um, the disc and the caliper uh, it says in the uh, instructions a uh, uh, very close tight fit so I think it's going to be uh, trial and error to so get it on. I'm not too sure does it show this uh, bracket which is for the uh, cable it doesn't show if it's um, uh, either which, which side of the uh, caliper so I'll put it on the, the front side of the caliper um, because that's what it looks like with uh, 
the leading arm here um, and the uh, bit that the um, uh, handbrake cable slots into so uh, everything's all loose at the moment so because I don't want to ruin the uh, nylox uh, just yet right that's the caliper and disc uh, all in all loose fitted no nothing's been tightened as yet so time to uh, read the uh, instructions first regarding uh, the brake cable if that goes on before I tighten everything up or if it's the other way around uh, I would have thought it went on before we put the uh, uh, pop shaft back on mainly because it's uh, ease of uh, getting the blue thing on um, well we'll see how we go Right, that's the uh, pop shaft back on. I've got the uh, cable in, but I've, obviously you can see I've not connected it yet. Uh, these mounts are still loose. They've tightened up, but I've not tightened them up fully. So that's my next job is to tighten these up fully, attach the uh, cable properly, see if there's any adjustment in these doing. And then um, while I'm down here, I might as well uh, give me proper. Uh, a grease up because as I was saying it's not been done for about a thousand miles so uh, yeah everything's uh, gone on it's uh, fairly straightforward as in nut and bolt but bloody fiddly trying to get the old um, uh, brake, brake uh, housing off but apart from that it's just uh, make sure that everything's all cleaned up you know all the grease is off the plate um, and yeah Let's um, just tighten everything up now. As I say, the pop shaft's off, that's all that will tighten up. I've just got to tighten the, these two uh, bolts up. Um, it's a bloody big nut, that. It's, uh, what, a 23, 24 mil nut. Uh, and to tighten it up from the back, I've had to uh, uh, put my hand over the, over the back, over the top. And just hold uh, an adjustable there uh, because that was the biggest spanner I had. Uh, but um, tightening up on the front, uh, I just used the socket which I had. Uh, right, we'll see how we go. Right, that's all tightened up, all adjusted. Um, everything's all uh, okay, do we? What we're doing now is just take it for a test drive. Um, just make sure the adjustment is okay. Um, not here in my garage, it seems everything seems fine. Um, yeah, like I was saying, uh, the uh, nylock nuts for the top bolts at the back had to lift me uh, hand over the top just to get to the back one but uh, that was the only uh, bit where I just got crap on my arm <laughs> so uh, yeah all um, that's the same uh, just straight bolt on bolt off the only fiddly bit was uh, getting the old uh, brake shoe uh, off uh, the uh, housing and everything else that went with it but yeah apart from that uh, we're really pleased with the job and it took me a couple of hours because of uh, the brake shoe, but uh, um, yeah, I would have thought it would have gone a lot, uh, a lot easier uh, without that uh, slight problem. But yeah, very pleased. That easy job.